a very special snowflake. On the day of the big snowstorm, Jeff and Veronica were playing with their new puppy, Snowflake. Veronica glanced out the window. It's like a winter wonderland out there, she said. Let's take Snowflake outside, said Jeff. We can play in the snow. They bundled up in their snowsuits and dashed out the door. Soft snowflakes rolled all around them. They were as white and fluffy as the puppy's fur. Their neighbor, uh, Snowflake, barked with excitement and dove into a snowbank. Jeff and Veronica saw her tail peeking out of the white snow. Then, suddenly, she was gone. Where's Snowflake? cried Veronica. We have to find her. Their neighbor was shoveling the sidewalk. Mrs. Bigsby, they called. Have you seen Snowflake? Mrs. Bigsby stopped shoveling. Goodness, what are you talking about? I can't keep up with all these snowflakes. There are so many of them. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They shrugged and ran on to ask someone else. Their friend, the florist, pulled up in his truck. He was carrying a large box with. Mr. James, they called to him. Have you seen Snowflake? Mr. James was busy protecting his flowers from the storm. I've got to keep moving, kids. All these snowflakes will freeze my prize roses. Jeff and Veronica look at each other. They signed and ran on. Next, they spotted the neighborhood baker. He was delivering cakes for a party. Mr. Ripple, they called. Have you seen Snowflake? Mr. Ripple smiled boldly and held up his cakes. You bet. These snowflakes have inspired me. I've decorated all my cakes with fluffy white icing today. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They shook their heads and ran on. Just up the street, the police woman was standing at her corner. Officer Huffy... They called to her, have you seen Snowflake? Officer Huffy proudly put her hands on her hips. Never fear, children, she shouted. It's hard for cars to see you with all these snowflakes falling, but I can't help you cross the street. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They giggled and ran on. The mail carrier came trudging down the street. He was carrying her heavy mail bag. Miss Jane, they called to her, have you seen Snowflake? Neither rain, nor wind, nor snowflakes can stop me, she called back. Stand aside, children, I'm off to finish my route. No one understands, cried Veronica, what will we do? The children flopped down into a snowbank to rest. They were worried that they might never see the puppy again. Then. All of a sudden, they noticed a red ball moving near the snow bank. A puppy was pushing it. Snowflake, Veronica exclaimed. You've been here all this time. That's not a snowflake. That's a puppy, exclaimed their neighbors. Jeff patted the puppy's head and grinned happily. This is who we're we were looking for all along, he explained. He is our very special snowflake. Jeff and Veronica have lost their new puppy. The baker, the policewoman, the mail carrier, and other neighbors all tried to help. But where could Snowflake be? Search for Snowflake in each delightful illustration.